We, we do tend to, mid to end of October, have two kinds of weather patterns. It either snows or it's hot. Well, we're in the heat phase. However, our buddy Steve Patterson yes. is in the snow phase <gasps> in Minnesota, looking very comfortable out there. Steve, I can't believe it. I what cannot, a I cannot for the life oh, of yeah. me believe yeah. what I'm 32 looking at. 32 degrees. You know, Kelly, Ryan, it's good to talk with you both. Before we go any further, let me first take a step back. I don't know if you guys have been following the news at all this year. Um, so 2020 got off to a little bit of a rocky start. And then from there, it kind of devolved into a dumpster fire. And so that is the context within uh, this mid-October snowstorm, which is the second snowiest day we've ever had in the history of October in Minnesota. And this will be the second snowiest October in the history of Octobers in Minnesota. So what else do you guys want to know? I mean, it's incredible. Here's what I want to know, Steve. You ready? Okay. First of all, let me just correct you. Okay. Comparing 2020 to a dumpster fire is an insult to dumpster fires everywhere. <laughs> and an understatement. Okay. There's... Okay. <laughs> How dare Point you? Taken. <laughs> Second question. Yes. Ryan's beard. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Gelman's so also beard. Um, I was listening. To, to, I, um, to die or to not die? You tell me. I can absolutely tell you. Ryan, you have my full support. The few times that I have grown out my beard, I have used uh, a dye. It's called Grecian. And uh, it really darkens your beard because mine comes in red, gray, and brown, and so I am fully on board. Wow. Die away, my friend. Thank you. And I, 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 have, yes. I have really been, Steve, I've been comforted in, in, in familyhood like you, other friends of mine who are very close to me, telling me they've been doing the same for a long time. So thank you, brother. Yes, I stand with you. I stand with you. So I fully support you there. Go on, my man. The formula is, I'm not going to name family names, but one of my uncles, <laughs> who shall remain no nameless, was a big, big uh, Grecian formula guy to the point where he would walk in the house and my father would say things like, holy cow, hang on, <laughs> let, let me, you know, he would... <laughs> Because That's he, the problem. Let me, let me the get the camera. A, move, a movie star, Errol Flynn, is walking oh, yeah. in the door. It's very defining. Yes, very I, defining. It can look a little too pure at points. I will grant you that. The last time that I dyed it, everyone said, whoa, what happened there? So I get that. The natural way, don't use the brush provided. Use your fingers and rub it in. I recommend that. <laughs> Now, um, that's, not, that's going against what the direction say, but I would follow your lead Steve, there. Steve, a quick question for you. I'm thinking about the Halloween and historically there with snow possibly at the end of October. Do the kids dress up in snowsuits and decorate the snowsuits? I don't know, Ryan. We don't know what we're doing this year. We don't know if we're having Halloween. We don't know how many masks we're supposed to wear with our masks at Halloween. Uh, it was already was pretty dodgy. And then... And then this happened. Do you guys know? Stop Sorry, I said us, I was going to keep my cool. Do you know that a week and a half ago, we were at an apple orchard, and it was about 80 degrees. I don't know how fruit works, but I'm pretty sure that those apples are dead now, and the fun <laughs> is over. What happened to fall? I don't know how fruit works. By the way, can we get a Steve Patterson quote of the day? And today's quote from Steve Patterson is, I don't, I don't know, know how, how fruit, fruit works. works. I looked into it. Yeah, so I don't want to speak out of turn, but I'm not sure how it works. Steve, but look at this, Steve, guys. We got over eight inches. Yeah. Steve, are those two turquoise houses the same paint or just being built behind you? I think they're Thank they're you for asking paint. that, Ryan. Um, yeah, we're, we're building here. <laughs> By the way, I should mention, there? these are all my properties. <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm building. Each one has a specific purpose. Uh, yeah, but, I yes, see. those... Those are uh, steel like houses that hopefully <laughs> we hope that, it's kind of like the North Pole. It feels like the North Pole whenever it starts to snow. Uh, like that's how it looks. Uh -huh. The actual feeling that you get when you live here, much more South Pole, much more evil elves. Everyone's upset. We don't like what's happening. Well, thank, thank you for your reporting from the elements this morning, Steve. It's always great to hear from you, buddy. Properties Take good care of yourself. Too. Looks great. Yeah.
Bye Steve, bye. Steve Patterson, by the way, has one of the most beautiful families. I don't know if you know this. Yeah, I've seen on Instagram. Uh, family, and it's a good it's a good thing he's got that side hustle uh, as a construction uh, in construction as a con real estate as a contractor real estate development because that's a lot of mouths to feed, Steve. And I know <laughs> these appearances on our show, you know, is not it's not going to cover the the, the union tuition. rate is not going to cover the tuition. It is not. No, th these will all be foreclosed pretty soon. <laughs> all right. <laughs> See you, buddy. Take care. Bye. Yeah. Bye, Steve. Crazy they've already got the snow. What a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous advocate he is for the Minnesota area. Yes, he is.